In today's episode, I'm going to be upgrading the chain and sprocket kit on my Yamaha DTR125. I want this bike to be strong and reliable, so I'm going to be ditching the original 4 to 8 chain in favour of a larger 520 chain kit from DID. Some sellers list these as conversion kits for the 125, but really they're just OEM sprockets from its big brother, the 1990 DT200R. I also found out some other parts that bolt onto the 125s is the lighter aluminum rear swing arm and aluminum rims. Look, no rust! A 4 to 8 is honestly more than capable, and it's a bit overkill running a 520, but at least you'll never have to worry about snapping a chain ever again. The one downside to a 520 is it does add more unsprung weight to the bike. So to keep that weight down, I'll be fitting an ERVT chain from DID, which uses a slimmer profile for a lighter overall weight. It's designed for off-road use and trail use, but being X-Ring should last a lot longer than a standard motocross chain. Because the 520 is a bigger chain, less teeth can actually fit on the sprocket. So whatever gearing you're running now with your 4 to 8 chain, it's going to be different with a 520. I used a website called gearingcommander.com and I was able to work out that a 1448 would be pretty much the same, if not a bit lower than the standard gearing. Here is the sprocket, the 520, and here is the 428. There's not really crazy amounts of difference in it, but you can definitely see how bigger it is. And uh, the larger one, this is 48, this is 55. And for those of you that are wondering, there's 105 links on this chain, that's with the 48 rear and the 16 front sprocket. Also, when tightening the chain, it needs about 25 to 40 mil slack according to the service manual. So what do you guys think? Is it worth the upgrade? I think the 520 looks way more fitting on the rear, especially with the YZ rear tail tidy. If you want to see how I fitted that, you can watch that video right here. I hope this video was helpful to someone out there. If you do have any questions, do leave them down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit subscribe.